What's up Vortex Nation? Today we're going to talk about how to calibrate, mount, and zero the Impact 4000 Ballistic Rail Mounted Laser Rangefinder. Before mounting your Impact 4000, it is important to calibrate. Calibrate your Impact 4000 outside and away from any metal structures or objects. Calibration is important when capturing the direction of your target, your inclination of angle, as well as your wind bearing in relation to your target. The Impact 4000 needs to be calibrated during the initial setup and should be recalibrated if there's any significant change in your location. 30 miles or more is what is recommended. To calibrate, navigate to the compass screen on the Impact 4000 by pressing the settings button. Using the up and down arrow buttons, navigate to and press the measure button to select settings to open the settings menu. Select Compass to open the compass screen. To begin calibration, select Calibrate on the compass screen. Select Begin and complete the following steps when prompted. Press the measure button to begin the calibration process. Rotate the range finder in a figure eight for 15 seconds. Press the measure button to continue the calibration process. Rotate the range finder horizontally for 15 seconds. Press the measure button to continue the calibration process. Rotate the range finder vertically for 15 seconds. Rotate your range finder to its left side. Press the measure button to continue the calibration process. Rotate your range finder horizontally for 15 seconds. Rotate your range finder to its right side. Press the measure button to continue the calibration process. Rotate the range finder horizontally for 15 seconds. When complete, your range finder should read success. Press the measure button to continue. If your range finder reads compass calibration fail, try again. Press the measure button to continue the process. We are now ready to mount it to our rifle. With our precision matched rings, you will want to remove the front end of your ring and replace it with the precision diving board mount. Be sure when you are placing the diving board mount that you are free of the bell as well as the turret housing so you're not binding anything inside the scope. With the T25 torque bit and your torque wrench set to 18 inch pounds, Attach your precision diving board mount to your precision mounted rings. Once we have our precision diving board mounted to our rifle, it's important to verify zero that we, nothing has shifted in the process. Once we've completed this process, we are now going to mount our impact to our diving board mount. Putting the impact on the mount itself you want to make sure you have enough distance away from your turret to be able to manipulate it once you start reaching out to distances. We provided a half inch nut tool in the box for you to tighten down the Impact 4000 to your diving board mount, but we recommend using a torque wrench set to 45 inch pounds. If you're not using the precision diving board mount, you can also mount to any Picatinny on the left side or right side of your rifle. Whether your impact is mounted on top of your rifle scope or to the left or the right side, we recommend a parallel zero to ensure accuracy out to range and for your ballistics. In the box, you will find your Easy Zero Toolkit that comes with instructions on how to zero your impact, your target card, tools, small reflective stickers, large reflective stickers that go on the top and on the side of your zero target. Once we've mounted our Impact 4000, whether it's on top or on the side, we need to account for the offset. From the center of our scope to the center of our window is two and a half inches. When utilizing the precision diving board mount, we want to be able to account for that two and a half inches. On our zero target, we have accounted that for you and show you where to put the reflective tape. If you have mounted your Impact 4000 on the left or right hand side of your rifle, we have put general markings on where those reflective tapes will go. We do recommend that you take a measurement from the center of your scope to the center of your rangefinder to have a much more consistent parallel zero. Since we've mounted our Impact 4000 on top of our rifle scope, 
I will place my reflective sticker on the indicator vortex diving board. Next, we will place our zero target in a safe direction, 50 to 100 yards downrange, utilizing our large strips of reflective tape on top and along the side. Now that my reflective zero target is in a safe direction downrange, I want to make sure that I turn on my visible laser on my Impact 4000. I do so by utilizing the T10 Torx provided in the Easy Zero Toolkit. Cycle my laser from Disable to Enable. Press your Settings button. Scroll down to Settings. Select Settings with the Measure button. And scroll down to Visible Laser. Select Visible Laser with the Measure button. Cycle your visible laser from off to on. Your visible laser on your Impact 4000 is now visible. When the visible laser is turned on on the Impact 4000, your ballistic solutions and ranging will be disabled. We will use our large reflective strips to locate our visible laser. Once we've located our visible laser, use the tool provided inside of our Easy Zero Toolkit on our right to left and our up and down on our Impact 4000. You want to be able to match your visible laser to the reflective dot that you have put on your zero target. Now that our crosshairs are aligned with our black dot and our visible laser is aligned with our reflective dot, we have achieved a parallel zero. Once we've achieved a parallel zero, we can go ahead and turn off our visible laser. Manipulate the enable disable to disable on the side with the T10 Torx, as well as go into settings Select Settings, scroll down to Visible Laser, select Visible Laser, and select Off. Your ballistic solutions and your ranging will now be re-enabled. Now that the Impact 4000 is mounted, calibrated, and zeroed, you can fine tune your settings within the unit. Watch our How To Set Up the Impact 4000 video to get step-by-step -step directions. Thanks for joining us on the range today, and we'll see you next time.